Good day guys and welcome back to another fabulous eating show mukbang with Nadine and Daryl the So where did we go to today Madaki? You guys we went to da, 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 da. Hunter's Ale House in Charlottetown PEI you guys. Um, what did we get baby? I got the Built Buster something other. What is it? Here you go my lover. I got the keep, keep it down. Yeah. I'm trying to get out these staples. Long. Just bust open the bag, my ducky. I know, but I don't want to hurt myself with staples. Oh, my baby. Yeah. So I got the belt buster, and Nadine got the regular bacon, cheese, burger, poutine, is Yes, it? yeah. Yep, okay. Yep. Daryl's was $15.99, mine was $13.99, subtotals $29.98, taxes $4.50, sorry baby. That's okay. And the total is $34.48. Yeah. Another $35 bites the dust. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys, um, 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 we went in there, um, I don't know what time it was, 20 to 5, we left 20 after 5, so you know, all I'm going to say, and the rest of it I pray will be a really good video, <laughs> is um, if God forbid this was your last meal, don't go to Hunter's and get your meal, okay? <laughs> no. I, don't know, I don't know how else to say it. Was, it. it was a very long wait, and we went to wait. Hunters before. Yeah, and it was long. And it was a long wait as well. So. so every time we go there, we contemplate. Do we go? Do we not go? So today we thought we'd go. Mm -hmm. The food is good, you guys. Usually the food is very good. Oh, yes, it is. Very yummy, yeah. Yeah. And so um, we hope that tonight the food is good as well. It's just the wait time, you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> that's all good. So we're going to share uh, drinks first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, smells so good. I know, mm. right? You're, you're, you're smelling mine. <laughs> God bless this food which now we take and do us good for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Hunters. Yes, thank bless you, the Hunters. all the workers and the owners in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yep. And the drink. We brought our drinks from home, guys. Uh, yes, what we got? Lemon Silo? I think... Lemon Silo? I don't know how you say it. I guess <laughs> Lemon Silo? Lemon Silo, I guess. LaCroix, you guys. LaCroix. What does it taste like, baby? It Tell everybody. It is really good, guys. No, what does it taste like? It is the same thing as eating uh, a lemon meringue pie. Yes. It's so good. Who took the first sip yesterday? I did. And went, <gasps> Oh, wow. I have to try it. Okay, my son, take all your ketchup law. Because I'm that awkward here tonight, and I'm never awkward, but anyway. <laughs> There's another ketchup ball. <laughs> you be all the ketchup. You're not gonna have no ketchup at all. Ma? Yeah, hey. Hey, I think, <laughs> you know what? I think I can use mine there. Okay, this is Nadine's poutine, I think. I think it is. What kind of poutine did I get tonight, boy? You got the bacon cheeseburger poutine. You yep. ready to open yours? And I got the belt buster, guys. Mama son, let's get into this. We only have so much time tonight, you guys, so we're like actually in a rush. We're not too relaxed tonight. So. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, yes, bud. I hope this is what, as good as what I hope it is. Let's do, let's see, let's see after this meal if it's a belt buster. I got my belt on, so if my belt busts, guys, it was the belt buster, apparently. <laughs> I gotta get, yeah. Exactly, right? But yeah. if your belt don't bust, I guess it uh -oh. wasn't a belt buster. It wouldn't be a belt buster. <laughs> so we have our um, see through napkin, <laughs> our fax in, handy dandy napkin. Yeah. I love these napkins because they're big, but I don't like them because they're so thin and flimsy, and you know? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a quick thumbnail with you guys before we start putting on ketchup and everything. Yep. And then we're going to dive into this food. Give my son, take a drink. English side. Yeah. And so I think we're going to try to do a thumbnail also, Daryl Mulliver, with uh, food going up to our mouths tonight. Yes, bye. Something different. I got to put some ketchup on me fries now, boys. You don't like ketchup, Daryl. What are you talking about? That's right. Willis? I didn't think so. I'm not sure if this is, like, with all honesty, you guys, I'm not sure if they put, like, cheese whiz on top, or is it, like, shredded cheese, marble cheese, but see the cover inside? Oh, yes, Kinda yes, yes. Kind of reminds yes. me a little bit of, um, like, a cheese whiz. Or it could be, like, a cheese sauce in the bottle. You oh, yeah, cheese the sauce in the bottle. Never yeah, thought about that yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh, boys, this looks good. Really not down my son, because I'm just a bit Come on, dig in. We say grace, my ducky. What's how we're going to take first bite together All and do a little right bit too. of a thumbnail. Hang on now, boys. 
boy. I gotta yeah. put on some ketchup here. I'm always, I've been 11 years waiting. Yeah. I'll still wait again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll wait for you any day, my baba. Yeah. Yes. Just bear with me, Nadine. Just bear with me, boy. I'll tell you one thing. Get your button gear, boy. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, well, let's see. Fork on, too, boys. Don't you dare tip that over, my baba. They got this in tinfoil just for me. I hate tinfoil, you guys. We'll rent and Nadine Roy. will rent and roar. Don't make me do it alone. We'll rent, no, I'll rent and I'll roar like a true Newfoundlander. Oh, guys. Yeah. That's all good. We're going to do a thumbnail with the food up to our mouth. Yeah. Like a Donkey Kong. Like a Donkey Kong. Oh, Ready? Oh, my goodness gracious. Ready? Mm-hmm. There's no cheese pulled whatsoever. There you go. Ready? Yes. <gasps> Good? Uh-huh. Okay, ready to eat now? Yeah, ready to eat. Bye. It looks so good, smells good. It better taste good. Nadine's going to take the first bite of this beef burger. What for? What for? You're going to taste it? Oh. I'll cut a piece off for you. Oh. He's cut me a piece, my son. Can I start this for you? Yes. Or I gotta wait for you? No, no. You're I don't want to wait for nothing or no one more. I'm just hungry. Mm -hmm. That cheese sauce. Oh, you gotta taste that cheese sauce. It's a sauce that I recall, I remember. Mm-hmm. Yaman. But I'm really trying to put my fingertip on that. Baby, I don't want all that. Go on, then. No, Jerry, no, I get a big poutine, Jerry. Yeah, it's okay. Try that too, La. Baby, that's too much. It's gone. That was a loose. Take some of my poutine, Jerry. Go on, Mmm. Stop. Try this. No, I want you to try the sauce. Mm -hmm. This sauce reminds me of something. Look, you guys. Reminds me of cheese sauce. No, but I don't know. There's two or three things I'm thinking. What is it? That she is that familiar to you? The cheese sauce. Almost reminds me of a. Uh, oh, it's too much meat. Sliced baby. cheese or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, and it's melted. Mmm. I don't understand that. Oh my god, you guys, I'm eating beef, look. Yes, I, Nadine's eating beef, guys. I got myself shocked. Damn words. Mmm. It's pretty thick beef, mm -hmm. though. Baby, I'll take that little tiny piece you gave me, but I, I can't eat all this. Uh, and now you got all my cheese sauce gone. You oh. eat that, then? I, it's too much beef. Oh. Sorry. That's okay, Daryl. What do you think of your food? Are you mm. into it yet? Yeah, it's really good. What's, what's the thoughts? Any thoughts? What do you got there? What'd you order? Um, what, what the Belt Buster. Oh yeah, the Belt Buster. So what does it include? It's two uh, burger patties. Mm -hmm. mm. With uh, onions, sauteed onions. And down and under is a, like a bun. Uh -huh. And I have my coleslaw. Oh, a bun. There's a bun on the bottom. There. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, would you say it's like a burger and fries? Yeah, like a burger and fries, yeah, pretty just, much. Just an open face burger, maybe? Yeah, open face, yeah, without the top. Uh. Mm -hmm. Ooh! They never even gave it the top. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Ooh, try the coleslaw. Coleslaw looks a bit dry. This cheeseburger. Mmm, not too bad, though. The cheeseburger poutine, you guys, is out of this world. Very good. Mm. This is a little bit of um, beef Daryl gave me. It's good. But this cheeseburger poutine, are you kidding me? Mm. It's good. It's worth the wait. I'm just not too patient with waiting, period, usually. <laughs> Am I? No. But it's all good, Nadine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I trying to miss? No, I'm good. I'm cool. Mm. So what's on your poutine? Um, onions, sauteed onions. Um, ground beef, I think it said. And cheese sauce. Let's see if I can read it back to you guys. Bacon cheeseburger poutine consists of bacon, oh bacon, hamburger, mushrooms, and onions. Mm. And so, Daryl's was? 
Did you want to read it or you want me to read it? No, you read it. You're good. The Belt Buster Beef Sandwich is two thick ground sirloin patties served open-faced, smothered with onions and our house gravy or on thick French bread. Yeah, there is a little bit of gravy. Not they a lot put of up gravy. a little bit more. Yeah, huh? it's not a lot of gravy there at all. Goodness gracious. Um, and it comes sir yours comes served with coleslaw and your choice of fries, two baked potatoes, a mountain of mashed potato, or a mound of rice. So that's what our meals consist of tonight, you guys. But it came to a total of thirty four dollars. Yeah, it's expensive, but anyway. All fast food and take it places are, are expensive, expensive anyway. No matter where you go. And we just say it in every video. And if you don't like it, sorry. And if you do like it and you understand, thank you for having some understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We have Daisy rolling her. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're hoping, hoping to do dessert with you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. But we have a couple things on the go this evening. Mm. Not sure if we're going to be able to do dessert, which is going to make me so upset. I wanted to do dessert all day. Mm -hmm. hmm? Putting us behind a little bit because mm -hmm. we got to try to get this down, then we got an appointment in 15 minutes here. Mm -hmm. What did I say to you leaving the house? This meal is really good, you guys. Mm. Oh, it is really good. Very good. Mine is so tasty. Yours? Mm. Oh, yeah. What did I say for I left the house with you tonight to go out for supper tonight? We were both craving fish and chips. No, well, yeah, but no. What? Watch. Um, I said to you in the washroom, what did I say? I don't know. I said, if I had my way, mm -hmm. I'd be eating tonight. Fish and chips? No. What was it? Donuts. Oh, donuts and ice cream. And ice cream. Oh, yeah. And Daryl just goes. <laughs> rolls his eyes. I says to him, I says, it's so funny. We always eat all these savory, blessed meals. If Nadine had it her way. Oh, I would eat dessert, breakfast, lunch, and supper. Yeah, she wouldn't bother with main course, mm -mm. though. This is for children. I'm a big girl. Sweets are for children. Go on, girl. Don't throw you anywhere. <laughs> um. Mm. I think what we're going to do real soon is we're going to eat dessert the whole day with <coughs> three meals. And I'm going to have a day just for me. And by the time that night, Daryl will want 16 cups of tea. Yeah, for sure. And don't be saying, good night, don't even talk to me till morning. I'm <laughs> upset because I didn't get no savory today. Wouldn't you? <laughs> no. Um, would you do that kind of a video with me? Oh, yeah. I could. Or am I supposed to go do that myself? Maybe we should do that myself. Hmm. But I would love to have you do it with me. I'll do savory while you're doing dessert, see? Maybe we should do that way. Hmm. You eat savory three meals, and I'll eat the dessert three meals. Sounds good to me. Wow. Oh, the mushrooms and onions are mm -hmm. so tasty. Yeah, because then everybody will get to see savory and dessert in, mm. in, in the same meals. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's a good idea, isn't it? Yes, my dear, yeah. Ice cream for breakfast, ice cream for lunch, and ice cream for supper. Want some ketchup, my ducky? Uh-uh. At least some more ketchup here now, boy. Thank you. Don't have some of this? No, my ducky. That's so good, baby. Try. Please try. You have some of this? I did. Have some more beef there. No, this is very good, you guys. They got something really nice in the meat. Some kind of a spice or something. No, it's the bacon. That's what I'm tasting. Oh, so good, you guys. Um, Baby, try, 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 try. If you guys love cheeseburger and, like, obviously bacon and everything, and oh, you're yeah. in Charlottetown, not a sponsored video. Not at all. We always say that for our... 
protection. Um, protection. Because um, if you're sponsored, usually it's like, oh, you gotta check this out. Oh, so good, mm. so good, so good. We paid money, but we're saying that it is good because it is good. Mm. If you like things like cheeseburger and you like poutine, you should go to Hunters and try to for the summer's over. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Have some more? Oh, no, thanks, so. so. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome to this, mm -hmm. too. Like Nadine said, that's the same thing as eating a cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. So good. Taste the cheese, the bacon, mm -hmm. the meat. The bacon, eh? The ground beef, mm. beef in it. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Cut up this little steak thing I'm I got her. I'm shocked at how good it is, really. And the portion, I'm going to say, is good. Mm. Like it's level up here. So to me, that's a good portion. Mm. That mm -hmm. fettuccine we had that time, I'm, I'm still royal about that. Miffed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. This is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't drink your happy drink yet? No? Got rid of that. Yeah, my baby. That big of a rush, guys, for kids. Huh. That's okay. Isn't that the gear, that stuff? Mm. Isn't that good? Just like the lemon meringue pie. It is. I want a whole pie still. Wow. Go on. Mm -hmm. you may have to get one, too. Mm. Night, maybe. Yes. I would do it in an ASMR so quick. <laughs> oh. I think I'm just gonna give up doing savory in the ASMR and you do it. And I'll do the sweets. You do all cakes. Oh my god. Welcome, boy. Can you try this coleslaw? Please. Is it good, Daryl? Yeah, it's not too bad. Is it good? Yep. Mm. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. No. It's all right. Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry. There's something different in that. I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Something different, but I don't know. It's like alcohol in that. What's that alcohol in that thing? Don't it tastes like alcohol. <laughs> okay, it may never be in there, but what do you? It's like a distinctive taste. Yeah, it's different. I don't know. Maybe they, what they is got that? secret ingredient or something. I wonder what it is though. Something's different in that ghost lab. Excuse me. Something's very different in that. Mmm. Mmm. Is there red cabbage in it? No. Because you guys, red cabbage has like a very distinctive taste. But it wouldn't give it this alcohol taste, so. No. But red cabbage do have a distinctive taste in the meantime, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. so good. Oh, wow. I'm so happy I'm back to eating beef. Yeah, what's more? No, 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 no. Lots of beef in here. We're so happy for you, too. Mm. The burger is a bit thick, the patties. It and is. I'm not complaining, either. No, that's a good thing. Mm. It's good if, like, you're a big meat lover. Mm. You would love it. It's not so dry, either. It's really good. How's your belt starting to feel? It's not, <clears throat> it's not busting yet. No? Wow. But maybe when it gets the meal conquered? Mm-hmm. Maybe you look at me and say, they, oh, got, yeah. they got the right name on this one. Uh-huh. Mm -mm -mm. This is a Newfie portion. portion. Here, look. It is big time. Mm-hmm. Look at all the beef in here, look. Mmm. Uh -uh. I got my own beef. That my own beef, boy. Willis? Willis? I'm shocked I'm eating beef. Lord. Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> Going down really good. And it's going down very good. The AC is cooling down the food real yeah, quick. Yeah, it's sort of a rocks and chill. Plus, yeah, but we have to be somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Mm. It is. It is very filling too, eh? This is filling too. There's some ketchup. But this is what we're used to. Yes. Like mountains of food. This is the portion sizes that we like, guys. That we're used to. Yeah. Um, back in Newfoundland, this is the food you get, boys. Mm. If you're not from there, if you've never ever been there for vacation, prepare yourself. Yeah. When you're going to Newfoundland. And you will gain weight. Yep. And if you get up from the table and you don't eat all your meal, I think some people would be offended. Most definitely. I think when so we too. first got together, if I didn't eat a lot, like my entire plate, your mom was looking at me like, what's wrong with the food? Yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I had to get used to real quick. Eat it, eat it, eat it. That was wrong with you, Nadine. Don't and, look at her walk. And I would see her take up two plates for Daryl, and he would conquer two plates, and I thought, oh, my Lord. Mm -hmm. But in our house, we eat big portions, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But some parts of the rock, they really, really eat. Yeah. We don't yep. mess around when it comes to our food. No, we don't. No. Don't put your elbows on the tail, because you might get eat. Hey, boy. Wait. So true. Mm -hmm. It do have the purple cabbage in it. Mmm, that's what I'm thinking. Try it. Uh-uh. That what you're tasting? It is, isn't it? Maybe. It is. But there's something else in it? There's something else in the sauce. What is it, wonder? I cannot put my finger on that. Hmm. And, um... Uh, Hunter's always also got the John Candy meal. I'm not sure what it consists of. It's like it's a big, like, roast, nice sized roast beef, mm -hmm. basket of fries, and so much more. And the meal costs like 70, 80 bucks. But if you can finish that meal, you get the meal for free. Or free. Is it? I think, I, I think that's the way it works. You think? I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Renny Santel came and did it, didn't he? Yes. He's from, is he from the States or Canada? States. Because mm. he just not long ago put up that he um, finished renting or leasing an apartment down in the States for like years. And he was paying five or six hundred dollars a month. And I thought to myself, yeah, you're living in the States, you ain't living in Canada. No. Come to Canada and pay rent, pay, mm. pay a mortgage. Some people in our city, guys, pays mm. $2,500, $3,000 a month, man. For to, these new apartment buildings going up? To rent. To give money to a landlord, you guys. Monthly. Monthly. But it's not for the average people is what we, the best we could say. Yeah. It is not for just the average people. Not Anybody that comes to PEI to immigrate into Canada, because can, uh, PEI is the cheapest place to um, import immigration. Im, immi like immigrants. Th they Everybody comes here because it's the cheapest. And they stay here, what, about six months to a year? What'd you say? Yeah, and then we you move to the bigger cities. We've talked to people that come from like different countries and they live here. And they told us, I'm only here for six months, I'm only here for a year, I've got business, and um, I'm going to start a business here, or I'm going to Ontario or BC to start a business. So, um, and the people that come into Canada, you guys, they got money. They ain't coming in here poor. Poor. No, no, no. They told us, and we are totally aware of people that come into Canada are not poor. Because mm. if you're poor, you really can't get into Canada, no. really. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. There's some people here renting. And their rent a month is like twenty-five oh. to 3000 a month. Yep. Just your basic apartment. Yeah, there's nothing special either. Nothing special about it. No. Wow. Yep. That's cray cray. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And mortgages here are like cheaper. Well, than rent. There's some mortgages are twenty five hundred dollars a month too. Mm -hmm. Now we know some these people, not here, but in Newfoundland. The mortgages back in the day were what five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks, yeah. And rent today is like more than a mortgage. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. 
It's ridiculous. We well, drove through the states. I don't know how many years ago it was. And that we took a picture. We still have this picture. Could not believe it. Because mm. even back in that day, we still paid, got paid on Canadian soil. What was it, ten, eleven dollars an hour for minimum wage? Some a manager. No, for manage ma, for minimum wage here in Canada. Yes. Us, we back then when we took the picture of in the states. I'll get to that in a minute. Yes. Our minimum wage in Canada was for like ten or eleven dollars an hour. Yes. And at that time, we took a picture of a sign in the states. Manager wanted seven dollars an hour. I know. I just about fell to my knees. And the manager wow. did. Wow. Mm. Wow. We spoke about that a long time ago in a video. <clears throat> about That's like, ridiculous, man. About the cost of living and stuff. Com you know, Canada compared to the States and stuff. Oh. A block of cheese here in Canada now, like a normal, what would you say, 500 gram block? Mm. It's like, um, it was not on sale. It can be eight ninety nine dollars a block. Oh, yeah. One block of cheese. Yeah, it's crazy. We buy blocks of cheese when it goes on sale. Hey, babe. Mm hmm We buy everything when it's on sale. Technically. So we have more money to do mukbangs like this with you guys. Hey, babe. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is more ketchup. Mm-hmm. I'm full now. Me wow. too. I am really full, actually. Mm -hmm. My belt is not busting, but I am full. Put it that way. It's good. It's a nice sized portion mm -hmm. for anyone. Wow, I'm full. So we're going to give our stomachs about, what, an hour? Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to go and do a um, dessert. dessert with you guys tonight. We hope so. Mm. I really need some sweet in my life tonight. <laughs> and I know if you could, you know, you would have a sector right now. What? Yep. So big shout out to Hunters. Thank yes. you so much for this delicious meal. It was so yummy. Really good. Mm -hmm. Keep up the great work. Yes, very good. That coleslaw is different though. If you can tell... Um, <clears throat> Because I don't know how we would ever find out about If we inquired about the coleslaw, would they tell us that one, or is it a big secret? My first would. my first bite, that on, bite, I honestly felt like it was like alcohol in it. Wow. I tasted alcohol in it. Maybe my taste buds are totally off. But, um, yeah, I tasted, I felt like I tasted a bit of alcohol. Then when I bit into the red cabbage, when you give me that little piece you're after, uh -huh. I knew I tasted like the red cabbage but it still tasted like something different in the sauce or something mm -hmm. so we might inquire next time we go down what's in that sauce there bars and that coleslaw la tell us yeah so you guys you never guess where we went to <laughs> <laughs> yes they will where did we go to my decker deckers. deckers guys out in cornwall again deckers. and what did you get twister ice cream inside and i was dipped in peanut butter peanut butter didn't it was Mm. Oh. And I got the blueberry sundae oh. with crushed nuts and a cherry on top. Daryl and his nuts, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're the best Woo. thing to spilt milk. To spilt milk, yeah. And buttered bread. Look. And buttered bread, boys. Mm. Oh, my. There you go. Dive into your peanut butter. Say grace, my baba. God is great. God is good. Let us thank you for this food. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Deckers. And thank you, Deckers. So I can make up on your forehead. No, my ba-ba. Okay, my ba, ba Okay, I was looking over here and here. Take that cherry. Here. No, 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 no. You eat that cherry. That? Oh, we're going to do something now. Our quick, quick little pose. <laughs> that good? Yep. Yeah. Eat that cherry. No, I don't want that cherry. You have something to buy. I don't want that. You should do it. Yeah, you might open. It's not dip very well, is it? Mm -mm. It's supposed to crack. It didn't crack. That's different. You don't like it? I'm not supposed to have that peanut butter. Oh. I like peanut butter. Yes, I do like peanut butter, but... Oh, my gosh. On an ice cream? It's not, um... It's not unheard. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. I don't think it was done right. Maybe. In our opinions. Yeah, I don't think it was done right because it's usually supposed to crack. Not about onion. I don't want... Here. <sighs> I thought you Goodness, wanted, that's I thought, tough as nails, old man. I thought you wanted the cherry. No, I want that. Cherry and peanut butter? Mm. Well... Try this thing. Try it. No, 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 no. I tried yours. No. Come on. I just tried the cherry. I never had a blueberry I don't want none Come on, Nate. I don't want none. Come on. Good. It's good. Yeah. But it's for nutty people. Well, you should have got it then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No. You enjoy it, my baba. Oh. Oh. Like, look at the peanut butter. Mm. It's like not hard. Should look around there, look. Yeah, but that'll make it run. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not gone firm. This is really good. Okay. I it's don't. Not even... gone firm, is it, mean, boy? No. I don't need. I can't. I can't tackle that now, you guys, because I get to lick this right to pieces. Uh oh. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you laughing, you little donkey? You're my little donkey. Oh, Why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Oh. Mmm. So good, though. Mm-hmm. That's not near enough ice cream you got in there for me. I know. Go on, do it one more. What's wrong with you, boy? Well, if I wouldn't fall from nacho, what was it we had a minute ago? A little yeah. while ago? We had the. Uh, yeah. If I wouldn't fold in, I'll be folding out, boy. No, don't worry. Peanut butter. Guys, are we ever taking advantage of the ice cream market? Oh, I know, right? Listen. Got to, see? Uh huh. We can get ice cream where we're going. I don't think. Do you think? I can't go a real long time in an ice cream, though, so don't do it to me. I'm not going to do it to you. Okay. So this is a small, and this came to $4 and what? Well. 29 cents. Mine was. She only gave us a debit receipt. 9.75 for both. I think it's 9.75 every time we come out. Yeah, I think so. Or something but, along them lines. And their ice cream is that good? I'm not even going to complain. No. The portion sizes are good. The ice cream is amazing. You think that portion size is good? Well, that's a small. That's a small for a child. Go on. Go on with you. Quite a bit in there, boy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Mm. Deep trolled it. What's wrong with you, my son? <coughs> yep. Oh, my lady. What are we going to do with you? Never trade me in. Nope. Yep. Trade you in for two twenties. Yeah, right. Buddy, listen here. We had that conversation one too many times before. <laughs> Didn't we? Yeah. So, we rushed out here, you guys. Rushed. Oh, we did. Yes, yes, yes. And I said to Daryl Drive, and I said, Grandfather, you can't go any faster? <laughs> 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 no, you guys. I love my husband so much. We just like to razz each other. And I'm telling you, Daryl does not razz me enough in videos, and it irks me. When we're editing, I get upset with you, don't I? Yeah. I said, Daryl, look, you didn't have a comeback for me here. You did, but you're getting better. Yeah. You are, because, like, look at our videos from a year ago. I you, know, right? You were so shy and... Yeah, just like my wife, very shy. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. The day you met me out. Was I shy the day you met me? No, not really, hey? No. No. <laughs> it was a bulls of jay. Yes. Listen, if you want something in this life, you got to go for it. You hear me? I'm talking yeah. to y'all. So anyway, back at the farm, we were um, driving out here because we thought we were going to cut off the time for eight. I said, Grandfather, can you drive any faster? <laughs> we'll get there by dear before it turns eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we got here before eight o'clock. Yeah. And what? what's the hours on the store here now at Decker's for the summer? They're calling this the summer. I'm starting to wear fall clothes and they're <laughs> calling it summer. We've got something backwards. Is it me or him? 
We're just eager for fall to come. We're eager. We're so eager, you guys. I'm ready to... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, about a week or two ago, they closed every night at 8. So we rushed here tonight. That for sure, they were closed at 8. Yep. And um, the sign tonight, you guys, is like 9 p.m. And I said to her, I said, we rushed here for to get here for 8 Oh, we changed it. She said we're open to nine. I thought myself, good, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So now we can go for a drive and come back again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. Yep. But you guys, the ice cream at Decker's is phenomenal. Mm. I think I've tried almost every one of the dips. So good. Mm -hmm. It is really good. Every time we come here, you get something different, don't you? Mm. Last time I was there, I think I got the, the Cookie Monster Floria. Oh, yes, Jillian. Yeah, Jillian, um, yeah. Requested it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, we need to explain about Holy Cow, shouldn't we? Yeah, go ahead. We went there today. We were going to try fish and chips there. What was the price for a one piece or two piece fish and chips at Holy Cow today? I took a picture. Was it twenty one ninety nine uh, for one piece or two piece? I was saying that was. I was floored. I think it was a two piece for twenty one ninety nine. Even still, that's like very expensive. <coughs> I took a picture of the menu because they didn't have no paper copy menus. Yeah, they just ran out, eh? Yep. Where is it, boys? I got it now. Hold the boat. Bye, George. I got her. Yeah. There she is, look. What do you want to know? Seafood. There you go. Fish and chips, babe. Fish and chips. The one piece was thirteen ninety nine, mm -hmm. and the two piece is sixteen ninety nine. I thought for sure I said tw what was twenty one ninety nine we seen there today. Fresh fried haddock fillet, served with hand cut fries, truck so truck slaw. And tartar sauce and a piece of lemon, I guess, comes with. Oh, we've seen but one day we got to try that truck. Yeah, we do. It's called, what is it called? The Holy, Holy Cow. Cow. The Holy Cow, yeah. Weren't they over on North River, or is that a different fried truck there? That's a different fried truck. Murphy's. I think it is. The Murphy Pharmacy or something. Yeah. Oh, that one is called, um, what is it? Where um, gluttony isn't a sin. Yeah, yeah. What's that called? We know gluttony is a sin, but yeah. so is many other things. Yeah. Um, but we don't eat to get sick to throw up. No, no, no. And all that stuff. Uh -uh. We just eat big portions. Yeah. If you eat like a like a like a like a half a cucumber and you're full, well, you know what? I'm I'm happy. I'm very happy for you because I wish that could happen for me. That don't happen for me. I need this slaw <laughs> until later on. I won't be able to get that this slaw. <laughs> And what are you going to live off then, Law? You know what I'll live off of. Love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Daryl. Love. I can't wait to take. Our family of um, 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 viewers with us. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm more excited than you. We're going to live off of love and, love and LaCroix. We love said and it, LaCroix. We yeah. said it before and we'll say it again. I like to be able to put that on a shirt. This is good blueberry. Mm. Blueberry Sunday, guys. So it's basically just some mm. vanilla ice cream, a uh -huh. little bit of blueberry jam. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Blueberry jam. Some crushed up nuts. And a cherry put on top by for the wife. Hey boy. Yeah. Hmm? No. Mm. You, gear, boy. you know what that reminds me of? Why? What you and my dad does at the bottom bottle of the blueberry jam. Homemade blueberry jam. Oh yeah. So what do you and dad do? Plus a little bit of cool whip or um, tick. Ice cream? No, tick cream? No, tick cream. Carnation tick cream. And mixes it all together and mm -hmm. licks up the jar, boy. 
or puts it all over a slice of toast yeah. for breakfast. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Did you do, do those things for you seen Dad doing it? Yes. Did you? Yes. Dad. Dad, my dad don't let anything go to waste, you guys. Well, you start wanting them. Yeah. Well, you start wanting them. My parents used to buy yogurt when we were kids. And me and my sister would just go to eat a whole bunch, right? Because, you know, on payday, that's when everything gets stocked up. And my dad would laugh. Eat it all day. Have nothing tomorrow. Go yep. right ahead. Go right ahead. Eat it all day. Have nothing tomorrow. In other words, have one or two today. You know, maybe skip a day. Have another one or two the next day. Or have one every day and, like, let it just, you know, um, last. Yep. Was it like that in your home? Eat it all day, have none tomorrow? Yep. What did your mom say it to you, your parents? Ration it, boys. Uh-huh. Uh yep. Uh-huh. And back then, like, <clears throat> on weekends we would have uh, some chips and a drink, like a treat, right? Every Friday night, my <coughs> mom, my mom and dad broke out the four bars for us. A tall bag of chips for four people. Yep. <laughs> Two liter pop. Yep. Boy, gosh, we thought we had the world. Oh, you? yeah, yeah. You? Did yep. you get Pepsi all the time growing up? Oh, yeah, Pepsi all the Like, all weekdays? I can't recall now. Your mom gave that to you every weekday? I think, yeah, but oh. we used to, like, spare it along. You wouldn't drink it like a two liter, you know, as I was getting older. Mm-hmm. But, uh, as we I don't were, want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't know. Yeah, it was all good, you know. But, like, back then we used to, um, like, just have, like, chips and a drink and a bar. On the weekend? On the weekend, yeah. What about weekdays? Did you get any treats? We used to get a scatter treat, but... We used to look forward to our weekends and get like yes. the big treat, you know, the, yeah. the pop, the chips, and the bar, you know what I'm saying? Oh, watch two. And watch Walt Disney movies. Mmm! I used to pretend I was sick Sunday nights. And I look at my dad, I can't go to church, Dad. I'm not feeling good. And Dad would say, Nadine, you just won't stay on watch TV, right? <coughs> I said, no, Dad, no, Dad, no, no, no. And the more I would go quick like that and say, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm, I'm really sick. Okay, Nadine, but you know what? As soon as the Disney movie's over, you gotta go to bed. Yeah, oh yeah, as soon as Walt Disney was over. Like... And then after they really caught on, what, <coughs> how me and my sister were, and we saying we're sick Sunday nights, couldn't go to church. There you go. Dad would say, no Disney movie, straight to bed. Okay, let's go to church, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but watching Disney movies as a kid, yeah. for us it was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. Too funny. Yeah. But it's all good, guys. No worries. Uh huh. Hey, boy. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. You oh, know? yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Nadine's going to tell you a little story what she used to do. What's that now? Nadine was very sneaky as a kid. Why? She told me this what she used to do. Oh, no. They're all. Her parents used to go out to the grocery store. <clears throat> I knew this was coming, you guys. Ice cream. <coughs> Ice cream. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Did Mom and Dad... I Exposing told, Nadine again. I told Mom and Dad not long ago. They, did they say they knew about it or they didn't know about they it? They didn't know about it. You are so sneaky. I was so Tell sneaky. Tell them what you done. So... I cannot get over what you done. Come on, Daryl. Wow. You probably did the same thing as no, kids. No, I did not. Right, I Mr. can never say that. Mr. Innocent. You are so sneaky. <clears throat> I was. I'm not like that now. I know that. A lot for you. I'm all, all of them now. I know. I'm lucky. But, um, yeah, when my parents, when it's, I was a kid. Yeah. And my it's a funny story, guys. I think it is. Yeah, when I was a kid and my sister was a kid. <coughs> excuse me. Mom and Dad would go get groceries. Yeah. And they would try to bring home treats and hide it in the deep fridge down in the basement. And so... I guess as I got older, Mom would say every now and then, Nadine, can you run downstairs and get a bag of french fries? Nadine, can you run downstairs and bring up a roast I need that taken out tonight for tomorrow so I can cook it tomorrow? Yeah. Or Nadine, can you run down and get a pack of bacon? 
And I guess eventually, over time, as I got older, <laughs> I come across the club pack packs of ice cream they would pick up, and they try to bury it down under so you wouldn't see it. So we talking about lawn treats or the yeah. fudgicles? Well, well, all of it, Daryl. Okay, Cre yeah. Creamsicles, fudgicles, all these oh, things. Oh, yes, all the little treats, yeah. And one day, I clued in. There was nobody around. So I'm going to have one of them now. Yep. I'm gonna and Mom and Dad had the furnace, the wood furnace. Yeah. And so I said, I'm going to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> so <laughs> I, was, I took the popsicle stick, the stick that comes in the tree with the wrapper, put the stick in the wrapper, took it. As I got older, not real young. And I took the evidence and I put it in, especially if the fire was going. It was the pure time to go down and get all these cream. <laughs> pure time. So I put the half a little ice cream. And I'd sit my little butt on the step of going all down all them stairs. They had the stairs there. Yeah, I can see you. That's it. And I sat down there and I eat it and I eat it and I eat it. <laughs> when it was done, I put it in the in the furnace. Shut the door right quiet. And the smoke and everything and the fire would just take it. And I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> but... How would how would you do it so they wouldn't notice when they look in the freezer? <clears throat> well, tell us. Well, I just cover up the box again, like like the way it was found. No, like you said, well, <laughs> you used to open from the bottom, the bottom of the box, didn't you? A sneak them down to you know. So then, if they open the top part, they wouldn't <laughs> open. <so> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So then, eventually, one day, my sister came down the stairs. I was having one. So many months later, or whatever. <laughs> And she thought she caught me. She thought she was going to expose me to my parents. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling mom and dad. I said, sit down. <laughs> I said, I said, you're Do having... not blow my cover. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I said, you're having an ice cream with me. And you're going to like it. You're going to like it a lot. Yeah. And I said, you're going to eat it. And I said, I'm going to have one. And we'll throw two wrappers in the furnace. And we did it. And I said to her, I said, if you ever tell mom and dad, you'll never get another ice cream from me. <laughs> I won't tell, sissy. I won't tell. Oh, God sad. love her, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then every day with him, <laughs> later on, she'd come to me upstairs. Yeah. Daddy, can we go down to get an ice cream? I said, shh, if mom or dad hears you, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Shh. I said, come on. I said, me and you could get ice cream. One day we get ice cream. Two of us throw the wrappers over to the furnace. She would take mine right quick. Mom and Dad's coming quick. And she'd take the wrappers and she'd go put them in the furnace. <laughs> and then I'd say to her, you got ice cream on your face. Quick, wipe your face. And she'd wipe her face and we'd wipe our faces. <laughs> and we'd go upstairs and then Mom would say, supper time. Oh, we're not really hungry, Mom. <laughs> Mom, what's wrong? You sick? Well, you know, <laughs> just a little bit of a tummy ache. <laughs> oh, Denise, you're a bad influence for kids watching, you know. <laughs> Poor little kids would be corrupted watching this video. <laughs> oh. oh, you're so funny. Yeah. Like, you never did nothing like that. No, I wouldn't do that, boy. No way. Because afraid we ever get caught. No, I wouldn't afraid. They'd be grounded. No. You want this? Or do you uh, want the other one? I'll see the other one. Do you? Oh. All right. That's the warm one. He's a bit warm. Is he too warm? No, you got a bit of chill. Huh? You got a little bit of a chill from the other can of No, drink, maybe yeah? we'll have the other one because I don't like it warm. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you wipe it? Yes, I wiped it before, no, it, before it leaves the house. I wiped it. Before it left the house. Leaves the house. Leaves the house, yeah. Don't worry, boys. I got to work on my grammar. So you never did nothing growing up, as in, like, <laughs> did stuff to get away with it, and your parents never found out, no? No. No. Yeah, right. No? They wouldn't all evil like you, huh? I don't want any evil. <laughs> I don't, you're evil yeah. in a good way. No. Aren't you? Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> so is you. Yeah. So is you. It's not even a proper sentence, knitting. I know, right? So was you, boy. Yeah. It's normal where we come from. Is it? Or where I come from. Where I come from, yeah. Yep. You did that, huh? <clears throat> mm. Loves to share. Good enough. Let's go back and get another one, Daryl. Oh, yes, boy. Come on, Daryl. Give her a stick. Come on. Give her a stick, buddy. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
What's wrong? That was some shot and go, wasn't it? Oh, look at the gear. Oh, so boys, you see us with sweaters on. We're getting excited for fall. We're dead excited. We got the sweaters on. Um, we got the windows up. We got the AC on. <coughs> <coughs> it's cold enough without the AC. I just can't wait to um, take you guys with us. My word. On this wonderful little journey. I'm telling little. As little as it's going to be. It's not. Humongous. What well, do you think? Big, small. You know, big. we can't tell all the details right now. Yeah. There might be little in the beginning. Yeah. <coughs> God is so good though. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Now we have to go home and edit. We're editing tonight? Yes, my ducky poo. We you know have a very busy schedule. You know how long this takes to. Well, you do know. It takes so long to edit and then to render it and save it and. I know. <laughs> It like consumes a whole yeah. morning. So what we try to do is like edit in the evening when we go home like this, you guys, and then let it save overnight. And then we wake up. It's like, hi, we see each other on the screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We kind of get tired of hearing each other's voices, though, don't we? Like in the vo in the videos, videos, videos. In real life, we don't get tired of each other, not at all. No. I don't with you, my papa. I don't give you either, my little ducky. But in the videos, it's like, good day, you guys, and welcome back. We're like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Oh, well. We may have to get a new intro soon. Yeah. Yeah. You got any ideas for a new intro, boys? Let us know. Blah. We should say, good day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Pat your back. Oh, my God. It's over. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> See, I'm always too late. No, you're not too late, my son. <laughs> oh, you're never too late. I think maybe right after this video, when you guys do see this video, you're going to see a very unusual kind of video coming from us. Oh. Well, of course. Right? So, right after this video, I think you're going to see a very unusual video from us. And we're trying to get a feel. What do you guys think about the following video? So, um, you know, when you see it, you'll, you'll let us know if you like it or not. And we're open to suggestions and everything. And yeah. What else you want to say? My son say it. You got the floor. <clears throat> oh, What's up, buttercup? Nope, that's about it that he made. <clears throat> Anything else you got to say? Say it. Nope, that's it, but I that's, that's it. We're going to wrap her up and go home and do some editing now. Yes. And do everything else in between. Yes. Tea time. Tea time. We just can't wait to encourage you guys. And yeah. Yeah. So much to life. Whatever you guys uh, like want to do in life, make sure you get out and do it, and do or it. try to do it, or something. Yeah. Because okay. life is so short. We had a comment come in. <laughs> I just mentioned it to you about, what is it? I don't know, maybe about a month ago. And yeah. it helped us to decide this, what we're doing. Yeah. And I don't, I, get, I can't even really touch on a comment now. But when we get in some more future videos soon, real soon, we're going to be able to share what inspired us to start a new journey with you yes. guys on YouTube and stuff. A couple of things really inspired. We had an incident happen back home. That really woke us up, didn't it? Uh huh. And this comment that came in about what four, three, four years ago. Yep. This comment came in, and it really stuck with me. Did it stick with it you? It stuck with me too. Yeah. And it's like the more as time goes by, and I feel I know the more time the Lord, the good Lord, allows us to have here on Earth. Mm -hmm. It's like you almost get to a point where you wake up and go. I'm so done doing this and this and this and this and this, and yep. I'm I'm we're switching. Like as a couple, we decided to do some stuff together coming real soon, yep. and we look at life now as like totally, totally different. Totally different. Yep. Like it's time to stop doing these things and start elevating and start doing these things. Yeah. 
and I can't wait to share it all with you guys so much. Yeah. I just wish, I, I said it a couple videos ago, but I wish we could just go like this, boom. Yeah. And we could be in the next moment with you guys, but oh my gosh, it still takes a little bit more time. And, yeah. But it's happening. It's happening, it's, slowly. But we're, in the, slow. we're in the process of stuff happening now. Yeah. But we can't talk about it yet. Yeah. But we're just Please so, be patient with us. So excited to start the new journey with you guys. Yeah. And we're so, so sorry that we can't share it yet. <clears throat> but it's going to happen because it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to. And once certain things happen now in the next little while, and, and we know things are done and in stone, we're going to start to slowly re release things to you guys as we continue to do it in mukbangs. But that's not how I want to do it. See, me doing mukbangs. I complain about prices and stuff like that, and we eat and all this stuff. To me, that's a mukbang. Yeah. You're being real about the prices. You're being real about the quality, whether it's good or bad, with prices, good or bad, with quality, good or bad, with whatever, yeah. with food and everything. That, to me, is just like a mukbang. And I didn't really want to incorporate too much of, like, a new chapter in a mukbang. Yeah. I want to take the camera in my hand on the tripod and just be like, this is what we're doing, and we're going to go here, and we're going to do this and that, and da 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 Yeah. But I don't really want to incorporate it in mukbangs. Does that make sense? Am I weird? No, you're not weird at all. Like, to me, a mukbang is a mukbang. Yeah. And a new chapter is a new chapter. Yes. I don't know. Two maybe completely different things. I think some of our, our viewers are going to totally understand and go, I totally get it. You just want to incorporate mukbang with mukbang. Yeah. And just your new chapter outside a mukbang. Yep. But then you're going to get some other people. Well, you could at least tell us what you're doing in a mukbang. What you're going to be doing in the next couple weeks, next couple months. You guys next. ever going to have to wait? A, <clears throat> you guys are going to have to wait around and see. Yeah. And please be patient with us. When like you I see, just said. when you see videos, you guys that are not mukbangs, you'll start to get a little bit more of a feel and yeah, of what we're getting ready to do and stuff. And <laughs> some of you guys are going to think we're absolutely nuts and. Oh, well. uh, and, and honestly, again, words don't matter to me. And I'm going to say it like this. Yes. Words do not matter to me. What you guys say to me personally, I'm not sure how Daryl feels. But for me, I'm going to say it like this. I used to be married prior to my husband. This is a loving, loving, sincere, honest, genuine, um, free, open, honest relationship we have going on here. Daryl knows everything about my past. I know everything about Daryl's past. We are 100% with each other. Is this not true? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, in my prior marriage, you guys, um, it was not a healthy relationship whatsoever. Um, there was, like, a, a lot of hostility towards each other. And there was a lot of name-calling and a lot of BS in that relationship slash marriage and I got hurt emotionally so, 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 so much. And it really ripped me. It ripped me to the core. And I promised myself once I got out of that filthy, uh, um, degraded, I don't know how many more words to explain it, rotten relationship slash marriage that I would never, number one, allow anybody else to put me down in ways that I have been put down in that marriage. And I've had relationships past, like after that marriage, between that marriage and us meeting. And I just don't, I didn't, I didn't allow any more people to, pe for people to say certain things to me that are derogatory, degrading, um, <clears throat> just negative things. I, and I just don't. When it comes to me, it just like bounces back off me. You have to understand what I'm saying. So when I talk about your words don't mean nothing to me, as in the negativity that comes, if you think it's coming at me, I kind of want to laugh at it because if you guys had to hear half of what I had to hear back in my marriage, um, <clears throat> yeah, no, these words don't, it just don't. It don't phase me now. No, it don't you know bother I, you. You know what I'm saying? It don't bother you at all. It does not. No. Like, Daryl does not treat me derogatorily, is that, if that's a word. Daryl is not demeaning. Daryl is not um, condescending. He's not uh, vindictive. He's not manipulative. I have dealt with all of that crap in my prior marriage, and I refuse for to let viewers treat me like that. I refuse for my husband to treat me like that. I refuse for family and friends around me to treat me like that. No. When you go through enough in life, you get to a point where you go, that is enough. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you just don't let it consume you. It may, the words may try and come at me, but it's like, a, how do you explain it? Like a, ten, um, in, in, in the gym where stuff bounces off you, like, um, how would you explain it? Like a racquetball? Yeah, like you know a, yeah, I mean? yeah. Tennis ball? Tennis ball. Like you just, when it comes toward you, you just push, when it comes toward you, you just like send it away. away. You send it away Volleyball. again. Volleyball, yeah. But... It's not going to come, your words are not going to hurt me so much so that it's going to get me depressed, it's going to get me sad, it's going to get me in a bed. No, that does not work on me. And I'm sorry if some of you guys are not like um, emotionally stronger or whatever. But sometimes in life we have to go a lot through a lot of rough things in order to grow a skin that you go, you can say whatever, whatever, that's on you. That, I feel bad for people that's like that, that's spewing out hate and all this stuff because it shows me how sad and lonely and depressed and um, sad and miserable people are them own, their own selves in order to have to spew, spew it out to somebody in order to try and make yourself feel good. No, that don't work on me, sorry. So I don't know where all that came from, but that just had to come out of me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you expressed yourself and you got it off your chest. Yeah, because when people try to think that they can rephrase what I try to say, yeah. like that's something else that don't work over me. Like, are you even kidding me? Not this lifetime, honey. Mm. Not this lifetime, queen. No. And we love all you guys. But, like, don't even bother trying to send your um, insults and whatever towards me or my husband. I don't think so. Not this lifetime. It takes it like a grain of salt. Yeah. Don't worry about it at In the beginning, we were like, oh, are we going to deal with this? Yeah, we're going to let it get to us. And, and now we're like, no. Couldn't care less. Whatever. It's just words. You, just, what do you think? We're in kindergarten? And you, you think you're going to see me walk away, give up YouTube, quit, go to my room, cry, uh, go see a doctor? No. No. Over a I couple have, haters? I have been through so, so much in my life that words just don't... It just don't... Pe anything. It don't penetrate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And I feel bad for those people who want to spew out of them because I know how sad their lives must be. Yeah. So on that note... I might cut that all out of the end of this video. I don't know. Yeah. But um, on that note, yeah. wrap up the video. Wrap her up, Nadine made. Wrap her up, Buttercup. Wrap her up with some of that saran wrap there. My saran wrap, my huh? <laughs> <laughs> wrap her up. <clears throat> anyway, guys, it's past 8 o'clock. We're tired. We got to go home and edit. We love every single one of you guys. Mm -hmm. Try to love people instead of trying to hate people. It's not going to make you feel better. It will temporarily, but if you have any kind of, um, um, uh, what's the word? Conscience. Conscience. Mm -hmm. um, you would actually feel bad trying to rake somebody over the coals. Like, come on, how old are we all here? Yes. You know? Like, this is not elementary. No, not at all. Unless some of our viewers are yeah, like six be... years old, maybe. I don't know. No, no. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She so sees kids today, a man knee eyed to a grasshopper with cell phones in their hands, iPads. We seen a fuller today. <coughs> he, we were recording a mukbang. And uh, he was walking and he wouldn't pay attention where he's walking at all. He was oh. walking right into the car almost. He, yeah. And, and the two of us just. And he just stood there on my window. He was stood our, there like. Was our, was our camera recording at that moment? Or I did we was. shut off the camera? I think we just shut off the camera, yeah. and we seen him walking across the road right towards us, and there was a curb right there, and I said, oh my God, if he walks over the curb and falls, he's falling onto our bonnet, that's not going to be pretty for him. No. And then anyway, he finally walked to the side of the driver's door here, and he just, but his head stayed down while he walked the entire yeah. time. I can't... and he didn't even glance up or move. But he looked like he was 20-something years old. Is oh that a my hearse? goodness gracious. Is that a hearse? That's a hearse? Okay, on that deadly note, we're out of here, pies. Love we you guys. We got a hearse, boys, next to us, love. Daryl, so sterile. Okay, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Somebody out for ice cream at hers. <laughs> oh, guys, if you live like... <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. That's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here now. I don't know where that come from, but that's deadly. Oh wow.
Yeah, we got a jet. Literally. Yeah. Earth. Yeah. So I don't know if I love you right to pieces. I love you. That means loves you right to snuggly, snuggly loves you. Mm. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go home and edit, my baba. Yeah. Say goodbye to the hearse, love. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, no, it's a bit different, no? Yeah, if you lived long enough. You see you anything. Get this, and hear anything. Oh, yeah. My son, the stuff we wow. used to hear. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you too. <laughs> Damn, not me, my son. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Mm.